In this video we're going to show you how to correctly wire up the Spartan 3 light and also how to connect it to the JRPH 52mm air fuel ratio gauge. First up is the power. The Spartan 3 light wideband uses a dual power source design. One 12 volt input is for the controller's electronics. The second 12 volt input is for the oxygen sensor's heater. Both are fused. The electronics 12 volt is terminal 1 and is fused with a 250mA glass fuse. The oxygen sensor heater 12 volt is terminal 3 and is fused with a 5 amp blade type fuse. Both cables shown and fuses are supplied as part of the Spartan 3 light wideband kits we sell. The dual power design is also accompanied with a dual ground. Terminal 2 is the ground for the electronics and terminal 4 is the ground for the oxygen sensor heater. We recommend for the electronics ground terminal 2. You run this to the same place your vehicle's ECU is grounding or if you don't have an ECU, a ground in the cabin will do. And for the oxygen sensor heater ground, this must be run to the engine block. Do not run both grounds to the same location. This dual ground setup is designed to be wired this way and will improve the stability of the readings provided by the Spartan 3 if wired correctly like this. Once you have wired up in your powers and grounds correctly, it's time to connect the Spartan 3 Lite's wideband output signal to the JRP Edge air fuel ratio gauge. Terminal 6 on the Spartan 3 light is the wideband output terminal. You need to connect this single yellow wire wideband input wire supplied with the JRP Edge air fuel ratio gauge to terminal 6 and have this single yellow wire plugged into the back of the edge gauge. Note for customers that are planning on using the Spartan 3 light not only uh, with the edge gauges but you'd also like to have it connected to an aftermarket ECU or a data logger. It's possible to share Terminal 6 with more than one device. So for example, you can have the edge gauge connected to Terminal 6 and also have a wire running off this terminal to an aftermarket uh, ECU simultaneously. For those customers that are uh, wanting to use this wideband kit and have replaced their factory narrowband oxygen sensor with the wideband sensor supplied with this kit, Terminal 5 on the Spartan 3 light is a simulated narrowband output this terminal would be connected to your car's factory ECU narrowband input wire to simulate the signal that would normally be supplied uh, to the factory computer by the narrowband sensor which has been replaced. If you're interested in doing this and have questions, uh, get in touch. Uh, we, can, we can help run you through it. Now for the wiring on the JRP Edge uh, air fuel ratio gauge itself. Um, there's, there's a four wire power cable that's supplied with the edge gauges. Uh, you, can, you can see it here on the, on the right. The red wire on this loom is to be connected to a constant uh, 12 volt power source, so it's live even when the ignition is off. The white wire on this loom is for switch 12 volt, so it's only getting power when the ignition and accessories is on. Um, the black wire on, on this loom is for ground. Uh, we recommend you connect this wire to the same location you have your Spartan 3 lights electronic ground. So the same location you use for Terminal 2's ground on the Spartan 3 light would be where you would install the ground for the edge gauge itself. And the last wire on the, on the power loom for the edge gauge is the yellow wire. This is the 12 volt uh, headlight, uh, headlight wire. This needs to be connected to a 12 volt power source that is only active when the headlights are on. Connecting this wire enables you to set a nighttime brightness level along with a, a daytime brightness level. This wire is not a requirement to be installed, but if you would like a different nighttime brightness to your daytime brightness, uh, you will need to connect up this wire. If you have any questions uh, after watching this video about the installation, uh, feel free to give us a call, email or message on Facebook and we'll be happy to help.